Clear snipe to order block guys here's like a one pip difference again in this time frame on a 30 minute it could be like a five pip difference but again on 10 pip stop loss you have room to do both and we're smart money we don't need 30 pips we know where the market's going that's why you hey guys welcome back to my channel so today is a quick video that's going to show you how to master order blocks when it comes to white cost trading so we're not going to talk too much about schematics but i do want to start where in this example we are waiting for price to come to a previous point of interest so this previous point of interest is an imbalance you're going to set your alert here and wait for price to fall so when price comes in so at this point, we are waiting for a break of structure, which we did get. And then that means we have our sign of strength for schematic. So that's when we're looking for a new point of interest. So we also have trading range alignment. So a lot of people ask, well, which point of interest do we use? So normally you want to use the lowest one, which in this case could be here. But in this case, we have trading range alignment. So we didn't get trading range alignment from our selling climax with this point of interest. So it's very obvious that we have this confirmation. The second part is unhealthy price action, where price comes up and doesn't come back. Now, price is a little bit unhealthy here, but as you see from here to here, it's almost mitigated. So that can still be unhealthy price action, but this strong push is more, def is more defined. This is our order block, okay? And this is where I ended up entering the trade at 50%. Now, as you notice and pay attention, my risk to reward is actually with the trading range alignment that has the imbalance. But I still have my stop loss at the bottom of the order block to have enough room in case price comes here. So the number one question I get, should you use order block or imbalance? And the truth is you should be able to do both, especially in this case, it's like a, it's a lower time frame. It's like a three point, it's a 2.7 pip stop. So I definitely have room to do both. But remember, these candlesticks are just time frames. What you see on the one minute is going to be a different picture on the five minute, the two minute, the 10 minute, whatever. Nine times out of 10, like if I go to 30 second time frame, this will be an imbalance. But I'm not going to do that because I'm in replay mode and I don't want to lose this position. So as you see, in this case, it actually went to the order block. Clear snipe to the order block. Guys, here's like a one pip difference again in this time frame. On a 30 minute, it could be like a five pip difference. But again, on 10 pip stop loss, you have room to do both. And we're smart money. We don't need 30 pips. We know where the market's going. That's why you must, must, must master white cost schematics. And if you don't know how, click the link in the description and download the Smart Money Playbook. At Smart Money Academy, you guys, I have two programs plus a workshop plus a playbook. I highly recommend if you want to level up your trading journey this year to enroll in one of these courses right now. You can click the link in the description below to enroll today. Guys, this will help you take your journey from the next level. Yes, you may be learning a lot on YouTube, but if you're struggling to be consistent and actually take withdrawals out the market, then invest the time to take the skill to a next level. It's definitely worth it if you want to get paid thousands out the market to invest a few hundred dollars to learn the right education. So let's talk about these rules. Number one, order blocks need to be followed by unhealthy price action. So I just explained here that we have UPA. Whereas again, in here, we don't have unhealthy price action. Unhealthy price action is that huge push where price does not come back 50% and move in a stair step way. So here you can see we have this order block and we do have unhealthy price action, but this situation's in consolidation. This is why it's important to understand why cost schematics? Because not every order block is going to be a valid trade. Like you're not going to just chase order blocks and unhealthy price action, right? doesn't make sense. So you have to make sure that what we're actually doing is in the right place, which is why in the beginning I showed you how we waited for price to come to that point of interest for the Y cost schematic to form. So don't let that go over your head. Don't chase every single order block, not every single order block is a point of interest. These steps need to be used together perfectly or it's invalid. So we need to wait for price to come to a point of interest. And that point of interest can be an order block or it can be the second point of interest within a Y cost schematic that has unhealthy price action. And this is not going to be in consolidation. So here, again, we have an example of unhealthy price action. This is not an order block. This is just a major drop. So as you guys can see, no matter what time frame this is, whether it's one minute, one hour, these candles, let's say it's the one hour, took 24 hours to do this little movement. And then in one hour, it's all dropped. So you want to compare the length, the size, and the speed of the candles. Whereas over here, it's just a bunch of wicks. As, as you see, this is one strong candle. This little, these wicks and dojis 
and up and down and retracement and up and retracement is not unhealthy price action. So you need unhealthy price action. Number two is it must be unmitigated. What that means is when you have the bottom of the order block right here and this is the top. So order blocks um, is going to have matching bottoms, may not be perfectly matching tops. So these are equal. This is a little bit off. That's fine. Now it's going to be 50% of the smaller order block for your entry. The 50% of the smaller order block, which is usually going to be um, the one that's not the push up. So you see how this white candle is the up push. It's going to be the small one. It's on a down push. It's going to be the one that's not the, the major unhealthy price action. Now unmitigated means that in this area of the smallest candle, if we put this yellow box from the beginning to the end, there should be no candles coming into it. Okay, so even this wick is, is not really good. Um, as you see, it's only like two pips. But if you have wicks coming down to here, almost halfway to the halfway line and coming back and chilling, not only do you not have unhealthy price action, but it's not unmitigated. So unmitigated means pretty much the price took off. And when it comes back, it's going to be the entry, as you see over here. If price stays around here, that's not unhealthy. It's not a place where the market actually has to come back to. As I said before, the entry is going to be 50%. And again, you guys, smart money doesn't waste time. It's going to snipe every single time. So it's going to be 50% of the smaller candle always. And as I mentioned in the previous example, when we first started, you guys, order blocks and imbalance are usually the same thing on different time frames. So you want to make sure you're searching several time frames to see which entry makes sense. And if you can get both, that's perfect. If you want to see more examples of order blocks, you guys, you need to join Smart Money Academy. We have the chart gallery, which has hundreds of examples of different charts that already worked out. So you guys can consistently look at how this works. 50% of the small candle, unhealthy price action, boom, entry, snipe. Also by other students, uh, students that I let post in the chart gallery. So once they are qualified, past funding challenges, etc., then I let them post in the chart gallery for them to show their example. So again, 50% down, came back, unhealthy price action, 50%, stop loss above the candle, no drawdown. This is a, about a 10 pip stop loss. This is a four hour, very high time frame. So consistently, if you guys need examples, I highly recommend joining the Platinum Package to get in the group chat. And if you don't want to invest in the Platinum Package yet, you can get the Smart Money Playbook. The Smart Money Playbook also has examples of order blocks and balance entries so you guys can see exactly how you're supposed to be trading and understand how to find schematics as well. So if you guys want to invest in how to trade smart money, then I highly recommend you clicking the link in bio and downloading the Smart Money Playbook or investing in the Platinum Package. See you in the next video.